whole numbers are not fractions, they're not negative numbers, and they're not mixed numbers. Who remembers what a mixed number is? What's a mixed number? What is it, Omega? Oh, okay. Yes, so a mixed number is a as a whole number, as Miguel said, so like the whole number two, and also it has a fraction. So this is a mixed number. Mixed numbers are not whole numbers, okay? Mixed numbers are not whole numbers. Um, any negative numbers, negative four, negative five, so on and so forth, those are not whole numbers. And fractions such as 17 over four is not a whole number. Does everybody understand that? Now, there are some instances where whole numbers can be disguised as a fraction. So for example, 10 divided by two is what? Five. That's the whole number five. Five is a whole number. 12 divided by six is what? Two. two. So two is a whole number. So sometimes you will have fractions that are disguised as whole numbers, okay? Does everybody understand that? All right, so now on your whiteboard, you're gonna have two things on your whiteboard. Either the letter Y for yes is a whole number or the letter N for no is a whole number. I'm going to write three different numbers up here. You're going to tell me whether or not it's a whole number or not a whole number. Does everybody understand that? Any questions? All right, so I'm going to write the number up here. You're going to have 10 seconds to write either Y or N on your whiteboard. So here's the first one. Is 11 a whole number? Is 11 a whole number? 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whiteboards, 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 whiteboards. Good. If you put the letter Y, yes, that's correct. Number eleven is a whole number. The number eleven is a whole number. Here's our next one. Next number. Um, 15 divided by 3. Is 15 divided by 3 a whole number? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whiteboards, 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 whiteboards. Okay, now I see a bunch of mixed What's 15 divided by 3? 5. 5. Isn't 5 a whole number? I said that sometimes fractions can be disguised as whole numbers. So you should always, you put the right word down, you should always ask yourself first, does this divide out into a whole number? Because if it does, it's a whole number, okay? And last one. Um, negative 2. Is that a whole number or not a whole number? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. My words. So all you put in is correct. All you put in is correct. So negative 2 is not a whole number. So understand, negative fractions and mixed numbers are not their whole numbers, okay? Everybody understand that? Any questions? All right, let's move on. All right, let's talk about integers. So integers are those positive and negative, sorry, integers are whole numbers, both positive and negative. So if you look at a number line, any number line, all those numbers on the number line are all considered integers. Any negative number is an integer, and all the positive numbers are the integers. So your examples up here, negative five, negative four, negative three, so on and so forth, and zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay? Integers are only the whole numbers. They're only whole numbers, okay? Integers are not fractions. Integers are not mixed numbers, okay? But understand that sometimes integers can be disguised as a fraction. So I gave you an example of a positive integer being described as a fraction. 12 divided by 6, we said it was 2. <coughs> negative 12 divided by 6 is what? Negative, negative 2 divided by 6 is what? Negative 2. Is it negative 2 an integer? Yes, negative 2 is an integer. So sometimes our whole number, our um, fractions can also be described as, described as the integer as well. Okay? 
So we have negative 2 divided by 6 is negative 2. So the, the same thing, I'm going to put the fractional part of a number up there. You're going to solve it, okay? You're going to tell me what is, what is that number is as a as a integer. So for example, if I had 21 divided by 3, what's that? 7, Seven right? So that's all I want. I just want the answer to whatever fraction I put up here, okay? I'm only going to write integers up here. Does everybody understand? Okay, here's our first one. Um, 24 <laughs> divided by 8. 24 divided by 8. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. White board. 24 divided by 8. 24 divided by 8. White board, white board, white board. You see everybody's white boards. 24 divided by 8. <laughs> 24 divided by 8. I need to see everybody's whiteboard. Everybody's whiteboard. Mm -hmm. If you put 3, that's the correct answer. 24 divided by 8 is 3. Only one thing answer. I do not want Y or N. I said only the solution. Okay? Next one. Uh, negative 10 divided by 2. Negative 10 divided by 2. 10. 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. My boy, is negative 10 divided by 2. Negative 10 divided by 2. If you have the answer, negative 5, that's correct. It's not positive 5, it's negative 5. Any last one, I'll make this one a little bit harder. See if you get it right, okay? Ready? 108 divided by 12. 108 divided by 12. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one and a half, one, point nine, point eight, point seven, point six, point five, point four, point three, point two, point one. Whiteboard. Wait. Okay. Whiteboard. If you put the number nine, that is correct. Nine. Okay. All right. So again, integers are positive and negative whole numbers on a number line. Sometimes your integers can be described can be um, described as fractions as well. Okay. Everybody understand? Questions. All right, so notice that the set of whole numbers is including any set of integers. So here we have this diagram. This tells you that every whole number, so all the positive numbers on the number line, every whole number is also an integer, okay? Every whole number is also an integer. Why? Why is every whole number also an integer? Yes. Because it's a positive whole number. Integers are positive <laughs> and negative. So every whole number is an integer. Okay? Every whole number is an integer. Does everybody understand? Any questions? Okay. Now, let's talk about what a rational number is. So rational numbers include all integers as well as terminating. So when I say terminating, I mean something like 2.5. It stops right at that 5. It divides out evenly. So 2.5 is a terminating decimal. When I say repeating decimal, that's like 0 0.33333. The number three keeps repeating. So we have our terminating decimal and our repeating decimal. So rational numbers are all integers as well as terminating and repeating decimals, fractions, and mixed numbers. So rational numbers are, is everything. Everything is rational numbers. Okay? All your decimals, fractions, negatives positives, 
mixed numbers, all of those are rational numbers. So here you have examples, negative three, negative 2.75, 1 half, 0 0.7, 1, 2, 3, 3.5. Every number that you will see in fifth grade is considered a rational number, okay? Everybody understand that? Any questions? Anybody confused? Okay, let's test. Okay. All right. So, here we're going to play a little game. You're going to classify, you have six different numbers up here. You want to classify the numbers, either a whole number, an integer, a rational number, or a combination of both. So, if we have a number up here and it's a whole number and an integer, you need to write both on your whiteboard. Okay? Does everybody understand that? If it's just one of those things, you just write whatever it is. But if it's multiple things, you're going to write both, both of them or all three of them. Is that right? I'm direct. All right, now I'm going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to give you a little bit more time so that you can um, think a little bit more. Once this time is up, show me a whiteboard. So we're going to start with the first one, 0.7. Is 0.7 a whole number, integer, or rational number? 30 seconds. Is 0.7 a whole number, integer, or rational number? Whole number, <coughs> integer, or rational number? You got 20 seconds left. You can just write R if you want to. You want to write the full word. R, I, or W. I understand what all of those mean. Is it a whole number, integer, or rational number? Five seconds left. Five seconds left. All right, my words. Point seven. If you put R with all you did, it is a rational number. Point seven is a rational number because of why? It's a decimal. Great. It's a decimal. Here we go. Negative four. Whole number, integer, or rational, or a mix of all of them. Go ahead. I know that this is kind of 30 seconds. You gave us the answer. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Yes. Negative four is an integer. Why are they integers? Because it's a negative. Okay, why is it irrational? Because every number is irrational. Okay, cool. Y'all should have told me that I didn't know. We just told you. Oh, my bad. Great. Right. Number three. Um, Number three, 2.75. Is it a whole number, integer, or rational number? 30 seconds. Hang out. Whole number, integer, Rational number or a combination of all of them? 2.75. 2 2.75. 2.75. 2.75. 2.75. 2.75. 2.75. Think about what I just said. 2.75. All right, my board. Great. Okay, so 2.75 <laughs> um, is a rational number. Only a rational number. It's only a rational number. It's nothing else. Okay? Next one. Point three three. Point three three. Thirty seconds. Point three three. Point three three. Point three. Point three I'm sorry. Point. It's, it's, it's that bar represents. Point three three. Point three three. I made it. I made that shot. We're talking about. No, your jumper. All right. Point three. Let's see. Point four. Point three. Point three. Point three. All right, good. Rational number. Good job. Rational. Rational number. Now, number five. Number five. Twenty-five. Whole number, integer, or rational number, or combination of both, or all three. Thirty seconds. Twenty-five. Whole number. Whole number, integer, rational number, combination. 15 seconds left.
Oh no. Alright, one more. Yes. Good combo. Oh, okay, so 25 is everything. It's a whole number because it's a positive whole number. It's an integer because it's also a positive whole number. And it's rational because it's everything. And last one, negative two and a half. Negative two and a half. Whole number, integer, rational number, 30 seconds. Whole number, integer, rational number. Whole number, integer, or rational number. Fifteen seconds left. Fifteen, 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 fifteen. All right, six. All right, great. Let me see. Whiteboard. Negative two and a half is a rational number only. Oh, uh, I'm going to say whole number because whole numbers are not fractions or mixed numbers, right? That's a mixed number. Negative two and a half is a mixed number, right? And it's not an integer because integers don't have mixed numbers as well, okay? So rational. All right. Good job. Go ahead and put your whiteboards underneath your desk and you're going to transition to the other hand that I gave you. back we have a little chart that we have to fill out so I'm going to go through the first two with you on the left side of this handout okay to show you what I expect to be done on the back and then I will let you do three and four we'll go over three and four and then these other three questions on the right are your DLL questions okay all right so we're gonna start with question number one it says, which number does not represent a whole number? So on every question, we need to make sure that we're going through the cues process so we can understand what we should be doing. So, on number one, should I circle any numbers, any questions? No, there's no numbers to circle. What do I underline? What's the question? Yes, which number does not represent a whole number? Which number does not represent a whole number? What do I box in? My like keywords. Not what else? Whole numbers. Whole numbers. So now we are on the onto the E part, which is the explain and evaluate. We gotta go through every answer choice and classify that number to see what it is. So look at A. Is A a whole number? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So because A is a whole number, A is not our answer, right? So we look for the one that's not a whole number. Okay. Next one, 12, is 12 a whole number? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so because 12 is a whole number, G is not correct. What about negative 10? No. No, no. what is negative 10? Uh, it's an integer. But it's not a whole number, right? Why is it not a whole number? Because it's a negative. Because it's a negative. It's not a whole number because it's negative. Then look at D. You have a fraction disguised as a whole number. What whole number is that? Five. Five, right? So C, I'm sorry, C is not correct answer. He's our correct answer, okay? So now, you're gonna flip it to the back. You should have this chart right here. You're gonna flip it to the back. We're gonna fill in every column, okay? So this teak column, every teak we're, we're, we're working on today is 6.2a. So I would write 6.2a there. Then, my key details, so that's everything you box in. So on number one, what words did we box in? Not and whole numbers. Not and whole numbers. So those are my key words. Now I'm going to solve for this question. Now most of these questions don't really involve any computation. It is a it's just an understanding of what the vocabulary words are, okay? So for my solve, I'm just gonna write the actual answer, which was which letter? C. C. 
And the final step for me is to write my answer choices in complete sentences. So I'm going to say, um, my answer choice is C, negative 10. In a complete sentence. All right, so for every question, this is what you should be doing, okay? For every question, this is what you should be doing. Everybody understand? Are we sure? So you're going to have your teeth. Every teeth the same. The key detail, whatever you box in that question is the key detail. For your solve, write your the letter to your answer. And then write your write that statement in complete sentence. Okay? So we're gonna do the number two, and I'm gonna let you do three and four by yourself. Uh, Ryan, sit down. Alright, um number two. Which describes the rational number? So we're looking for the answer choice that best describes what a rational number is, okay? So, should I circle anything on this question? Any numbers to circle? No? Is no? a number to circle? Any questions? No. no. What do I realize? Uh, okay. What do I box in? Great. Okay. So, that was what our answer choice is. We're looking for the best answer choice that reflects what a rational number is. We're looking for the best answer choice that reflects what a rational number is. So, add any number found in the number line. Yeah. That's true, but is that the best answer? Is that, is that the best definition of a rational number? No. No, right? So, we're not saying F is the right answer. G, all numbers greater than zero. All numbers greater than zero are what kind of numbers? <coughs> but what, are they positive or negative? Positive. Aren't negative numbers rational numbers? Yeah. So that's not the best definition. Right? That's not the best definition. Um, H, any number that can be expressed as the ratio to integers or the denominator is not zero. Yes, right? That's the definition of a rational number. That's the formal definition of a rational number. J, any decimal number? No. Aren't um, mixed numbers rational numbers? Aren't negative numbers rational numbers? Right? So we're looking, we're looking for the best definition, which is H, okay? The best definition. So then you will go back to the opposite side, and you would put what for your teak? 6.2a. That's your teak. What keywords did you box in? Rational, Rational number. number. Great. What's your solve? What's your answer choice? H. H. And what's your answer choice in the complete sentence? My answer Good. You do not write all of this out. You don't write enough of them. Okay? My answer choice is H. Okay? Questions? No. Alright. So now class, quietly, by yourself, three and four are yours to do. I'm going to give you five minutes to go over those, and then you'll complete your three DLO questions and then turn them in to me. Everybody understand? Alright. Go ahead and complete your three and four. We got five minutes. And then we'll talk about them once you finish. Take a word again.